good morning good morning god bless you um just first checking to see if this program is on my story well welcome to the balanced life program i'm called josephine josephine k god bless you thank you for always being around i appreciate you queen is <laughs> you are welcome I don't know why, but I can't see this video on my story. I'm figuring out why it's not there. It is not showing. It, let me first see what is happening. Welcome, guys. I want to straight away go into the word because time is well spent. I'm not even putting on music today. Good morning. How are you guys? Oh, dear. Can you guys see the video on, the, on my story? Because... Check for me, otherwise people won't be able to know that uh, there is a live program going on. I can't see anything. Do me a favor and check because this is so annoying. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Can you see the video on my story? Um, before we start, I can't see it, and people won't be able to know whether um. Is there hi everyone? Welcome Josephine Algo Hadija Pastor Eldad, you are welcome, sir. God bless you, Jole Jo Jo Mina Sany So Balaba Queeneth Jo. You are welcome. I'm fortunate like I can't see the video the video on my story. But anyway, I will just continue. It's a shame. Um it's a shame because I really wanted to make sure that people see the video but it's not showing can you see it on my story can someone check for me because um mm -hmm. i can't see it and people are going to miss out and yet you know the devil hates this subject it's a very very powerful subject um we are going to be looking at why do you get bad dreams? Why does the enemy attack you? Why do you dream about snakes? I started this pro um this pro um this sesh uh, lesson yesterday. It was powerful, and by the way, um I anointed you guys, those th th that were here yesterday. You anointed yourself yourselves. I gave you instructions and. If it's your first time today to hear this program, I want you to get an oil, oil, get oil, whether it's olive oil or normal oil, go and get it um, because I'll be praying that God will anoint it and I'll give you instructions, um, you know, but uh, it's not about drinking the oil or turning this into a ritual. No, 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 that's not what we are saying. I am telling you to do these things because I'm teaching about them. I'm teaching about deliverance because the Lord led me to talk about it. Many of you are getting, you have been sending me messages saying, Mommy, I'm dreaming about, you know, spiritual husbands, spiritual wives, dreaming about snakes, been dreaming about this. And uh, the Lord led me to teach you so that you don't fear because God gave you victory at Calvary. So now... So we are going to be looking at why do you dream dreams that are, are demons attacking you or spiritual husbands, snakes, blah, blah, blah. This is part two, how to overcome Satan. And um, so let me quickly uh, get our Bible, I mean, get ready in Jesus' mighty name. Share the video. Oh, I had forgotten to share the video. Let me quickly share the video. And we are going to start uh, the program. Otherwise, good morning, everyone. Thank you very much. Mukisa Mukisa says it was powerful. Mami Jai dreamed when I was walking in the den of lions, but they were not hurting me. They were instead giving me way. Hallelujah. I told you, people have started testifying. I told you, um, I carry grace to pray for people to receive deliverance. That one I know for sure. I am so happy. Mukisa Mugaga. I was checking to see if you can see me properly. Um, please, if you don't mind, I'm going to be um, posting that testimony because the Bible commands us to share our testimonies. And it's so important. Like I, I told you yesterday, every time you share your testimony, you weaken the devil and you make Christ to be powerful. You make the demonic power, demonic world powerless. So don't resist 
sharing your testimony. Some people sh uh, fear to share, thinking, oh, they will look down on you. Don't mind them. Good morning, Cindy, Kula. God bless you. Immaculate. All of you welcome. Namatov, Bena, Hadija, Jessica, Nelly, long time. You are all welcome, Bambi. We love you in the name of Jesus. Quickly, I'm sharing. Do me a favor to share this video because I always tell you that when you when you the Bible commands you to share every good thing you have, it is a must. And here on Balance Life, everything we say, we back it with scripture. Right now, I'm going to back up my point with a scripture to confirm that you are commanded by the word of God to always share, 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 share the word, share the, your money with the poor, share your clothes, share your time with people that need it. Go and visit people in the hospital. When we tell you to share the video, it's not that we want to get many numbers. No, 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 no. We want... God's people to come and hear the word and get healed, delivered. But I'm so excited. Have you heard the testimony of our brother Mugaga? Yesterday, I anointed people. I gave you instructions how to anoint yourself. We prayed for that anointing oil after I told you why you get demonic, demonic attacks. And those who believed and anointed themselves have started receiving their miracles. <coughs> Excuse me, Mrs. Miriam Kajambo, Nemsek Jamba de Kajambo, Akwayo, Scovia, Kajambo, Ruth, God bless you. Nice to see you all. Blessings to you. Uh, let me read um, Amukisa's um, testimony. He says, It was powerful, Mami Joe. I dreamt when I was walking in a den of lions. Oh, but they were not hurting me, they were instead giving me way. You received your victory. You received your deliverance yesterday. And please protect it. Protect it. Uh, don't allow Satan to steal your breakthrough. Please share the video. Share the video. I will share one more time. And then we will start the program. So get your, your oil ready. If you have oil, get it. Um, because I'm teaching about deliverance. And I'm going to again pray for those that were not here yesterday i'm going to be anointing you i'm going to give you instructions how to anoint yourself i'll be praying for that anointing i mean that oil so that you anoint yourself and you will receive your victory guys make sure you walk holy before the lord always repent just don't think, well, I, I will just go and anoint myself and I'll receive my breakthrough. It doesn't work like that. You have to live a, a lifestyle of repenting. You have to be repenting. Don't sin. Watch together. Try your best. Call upon the Lord to give you the grace to walk in holiness. You can do it. You can do it. Okay, let's start the message today. So I'm going to do a brief recap for those that were not around. Um, I have to set my alarm. Otherwise, you know how preacher we, we can be. We, can, we get so excited and we preach and preach and preach. <laughs> oh, thank you, Jesus. You are, you are wonderful. We get excited and preach. We can preach forever. <laughs> if there's any pastor here, they can we say, you are right, Joe. Yes, I have to set my alarm. So, yesterday we talked about how to overcome Satan, how to, um, I exposed how Satan works. And I took you to the book of uh, Revelation chapter 12, Revelation 12 and verse 11. The Bible says that they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony and they did not love their lives to death. I'm going to post that scripture there so that you can know. Um, by the way, I haven't posted, uh, pinned the topic. Let me pin it here because some people come and they will be distracting us, asking about what is it, what topic are you, are you what is the topic? Eh, what are you talking about? I don't want any distractions. So let me pin it there. And please share the video, invite friends. I'm not going to wait for anyone. I'm just going to continue because I've been advertising um, about this prayer session. So, yeah, that is the our verse we started with. And um, I gave you some points that I'm going to quickly read. I'm doing a recap. I talked about Satan's plans. Um, I did give you a definition of, of a definition of 
who is Satan? What does Satan mean? Satan is uh, means the adversary, the devil, the slanderer. He is described as the dragon, the serpent, the serpent, as a rolling lion, a liar, a murderer. You know, he is the epitome of all that is evil. And to to top it off, he hates God and go and God's people. Jesus warned us, uh, Paul, in in Luke chapter 22 verse 31 so i gave you that definition and i said to you that satan is our adversary we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities against powers ephesians six twelve. you can listen to the video so that you will know uh, watch the video is here it's already on youtube thank you is that rebecca thank you whoever sending those likes they make me feel happy <laughs> they are good and the hearts god bless you so i said to you what why do you get these weird dreams it's next lions uh, spiritual husbands spiritual wives number one i said to you because you are you have not given your life to god fully or you have given your life to christ but you still go into witchcraft. Whether you like it, whether you pray, whether you fast, whatever you do, you will not see any blessing. You are in Christ, but at the same time, you are going to, to witches, you are smoking your pipes, you are cursing people, you are walking in wickedness, you hate people, you are full of envy, you are praying, you are fasting, you will not see any breakthrough. You are open to the spiritual demonic world. You have to really make up your mind and say, I am going with the Lord. I am going to serve God. I am not going to serve Satan. Satan is your enemy. Stop smoking those pipes because you want to steal someone's husband. You want to destroy someone's marriage. You want to destroy someone's business. You will not succeed. You will not see the blessing of the Lord. Number two, I told you, there are covenants that were made by your great 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 parents or your even your own parents. So we broke those we broke those covenants yesterday. We destroyed them. We discon I disconnected you from those those covenants that were made. Some of those covenants they had to shed blood. They killed maybe they killed a baby, they killed somebody, and because of that, whatever you do cannot succeed. You have to repent. You have to repent and call upon the blood of Jesus. You know, I will, in future I'll be teaching you about those covenants. So you have to disconnect yourself from those ancestral spirits, those covenants that were made. Number three, I said disobedience. If you are walking in disobedience, you can't see the grace of God. You don't tithe. You don't forgive you. You know, it's it, it's a wide topic. All these are wide topics and God willing, we shall be looking at them. You know, prayerlessness, you are not praying. You are just on Facebook, watching every live that is going, live program going on. Or you are watching your soaps. You don't pray. All you do is to gossip, tear people down, do fights. That's your lifestyle. How do you expect God to bless you? Definitely you are open to the demonic world. Satan will be in your house 24-7, tormenting you with your children. You'll be getting all these weird dreams. But maybe if you are praying, fasting, doing everything, and you are still getting all these weird dreams, don't worry. You will be delivered. God is able to deliver you. Just have faith. Continue praying and praying and trusting God and giving your tithe and give, reaching out to the poor as I will be showing, showing um, sharing, you know, all these things. And number five, I said unforgiveness. Unforgiveness is, is very, very dangerous. So I said, how are you going to overcome this? How are you going to come out of, you know, all these, you know, demons that are attacking you? How are you going to win them? How are you going to receive your deliverance? Number one, I said, give your life to God. Give your life to Christ, Romans 10, 13. Give your life to Christ because he's the one who conquered death. He gave you victory. He's the one, you know, he's the way, the truth, and the life. Give your life to Christ. And as you do that, the rest will be history. If you have ever given your life to, if you gave your life to Christ Jesus and you are still getting all these attacks, then you stay here and listen. You will know why, why these demons are attacking you. But I've already said because you don't tithe, that is another open door. You don't tithe. You are fighting people. You are gossiping. Watch together. And you don't even repent. 
you are doing it on purpose. Some people you end up, you find yourself already gossiping and you have not intended it. That is a different story. You are busy somewhere doing your stuff and someone calls you and says, Hello, uh, uh, Cindy, did you hear this and this is happening? Oh, uh, uh, there's a problem. Pastor so-and-so has a problem. And you know, you don't know that you are already going to engage in gossip and someone starts and before you know you are listening. That is a different story. But, you know, because you, you did not plan it. But even when you continue listening to it, you are already engaging in gossip. So after hearing all that rubbish, make sure you repent and don't pick that person's phone if they are calling again to tell you about the same story. Get rid of it. You open yourself to the demonic world. Number two, I said repent, repent. Live a lifestyle of repenting because we are not perfect. We offend, we offend each other. We fall in sin in different ways. See, there are sins that we commit unknowingly. So you have to repent 24-7. Ask God to, re to cleanse you with his precious blood. Watch it over. So I, and I gave you first John 1, 9 and number three, I said by the blood of the lamb and the word of the, of our, of, of, the, of their testimony, the angels overcame Satan. So how are we going to, to get our deliverance? We have to learn to, to use the blood of Jesus according to Romans, I mean to Revelation 12, 1, the blood of Jesus and the word of our testimony, like what the angels did. And I gave you the definition of the blood. I'm not going to go into that. Um, but there is power in the precious blood of Jesus. Satan's, um, you know, what, was, uh, what has the blood of the lamb to do with the overcoming of the devil? By shedding his precious holy blood on, on, on Calvary's cross, Jesus broke Satan's hold on mankind. It was destroyed. Satan has no authority over your children, over your business, over your life. You have victory. You have power, but you just don't know. So Satan had us bound by sin, but Jesus freed us from our sins by his blood. Read Revelation 1.5. I gave you Revelation 1.5. It is Christ's blood that redeemed us, that delivered us completely from the demonic world. 1 Peter 1.19. 1 Peter 1.19. His own blood he obtained through his own blood. He obtained and we obtained a, a, a internal redemption. We obtained by his own blood, he obtained eternal re redemption for us. I beg your pardon. Ephesians 1, 7. I gave you Ephesians 1, 7, Hebrews 9, 12. So you have to learn how to bleed the blood of Jesus over your children, over your marriage, over everything you do. And another point that the angels did, they, get, they, they, they overcame Satan by the blood and word of their testimony. You have to talk about Christ. Oh, we are no longer our own. You have to know that we have been bought with a price. We belong to him. And the price he paid was his own blood. You have to continue talking about what Christ did at Calvary. Give your testimony. Like Mugaga has just shared how the, the angels of, uh, how God delivered him from these angels at night. We prayed yesterday and he said, Mommy, it was powerful. I dreamt when I was walking in, in, in a den of lions. You know, he's, he has already testified. And every time you testify, you give, uh, you make the devil weak. By testifying to the transforming power of Christ in our lives, we become spiritually more effective. Our bond with Christ is made stronger. By testifying of Christ's power to save, to heal, to help, and to, to sustain, Satan's efforts to trip us up becomes fruitless. So you have to keep on testifying what God has done. Number five, I said, how are you going to overcome this demonic world? How are you going to overcome these dreams, these evil powers? By going for deliverance. Go for deliverance if there is a church around there that believes in the, in, reads the Bible, believes in God the Father and the Holy Spirit. Go there, ask the pastor to pray for you, but make sure it does not turn into a ritual. Don't send your children to pastors, I mean to your young girls to pastors to be to pray for them. Some of them are, haven't you heard of stories whereby pastors raped children and all that? Watch out. I didn't say, please mark my words, I didn't say all oh, the pastor. There are some fake pastors. 
So if it's your child that is getting attacks, take your child, go there with your child and be there. Watch everything. The pastor is doing weird things, saying, anoint yourself here. Let, the, let me anoint your child down on the flower. Run for your life. Run with your child, your child quickly. Run fast. That is demonic. It is not right. Never allow any pastor to anoint your flower, anoint your breasts, to say open your breasts and anoint it. That is foolishness. That is demonic. It is not right. They should anoint you here. So yesterday, I told you to get your, the, the, uh, uh, the oil. I prayed for it and I told you to place your hands on your, on your forehead and I prayed. And I rebuked those demons. The Bible says in Isaiah 10, it shall come to pass in that day that his burden will be taken, taken away from your shoulder and his, yoke, and his yoke from your neck. And your, neck, your yoke will be destroyed because of the anointing oil. That's why I anointed you. Number six, I said, how are you going to overcome the, the demonic world? Um, make sure all your doors are closed in the spiritual realm. There's no open door, no unforgiveness. If you have unforgiveness, God cannot answer your prayers. Read Mark eleven twenty five. I gave you Mark eleven twenty five, Ephesians four twenty six up to twenty seven. Watch the video. So today we are going to continue with that topic. How are you going to overcome the enemy? How are you going to overcome Satan and all his um, demonic activities? You should not be dreaming those weird dreams. It's not your portion. You should be sleeping like a baby, enjoying the sleep, enjoying the blessing of the sleep. But because you have left some, there's an unopened door in the spirit, the demons just come in. You are not blessed. You work hard. You can't see your money. In your marriage, you are not peaceful. There has, there's so much going on. Be encouraged. God is able to heal you. God is able to deliver you. Let's go to the book of Proverbs 1. Proverbs 1, verse 22, we are looking at point number 7, which is walk in the fear of God, do not sin. Walk in the fear of God. If you want to see the victory, fear the Lord. When you have the fear of God, you will not gossip about your sister, your brother. And even when you fall into that sin, you know, you can go, oh my God, I have sinned. You will quickly go on your knees or do whatever I have to do. And speak to God. Watch together. So walk in the fear of God. Ask him, please give me that the fear of you. Let's, let's read quickly Proverbs 1, 22. How long, you simple ones, will you love simplicity? For scorners delight in their scorning. And fools hate knowledge. Have you noticed if I was here and I'm in Pemula and I, I, I get off my clothes and dance will be like a thousand here, people watching a thousand. They enjoy foolish things. They love it. But God says, he says that and fools hate knowledge. They don't want to learn. They don't want to learn. 23, he says, turn at my rebuke. Surely I will pour out my spirit on you. I will make my words known to you. Because I have called and you refused. I have stretched out my hand and no one regarded. Because you disdained all my counsel and would have none of my rebuke. I also will laugh at your calamity. Verse 26, Agamba, I will laugh at you as you get those demons as you dream snakes, as you see demon, the demonic walls attacking you, I will laugh at you. You will not receive your deliverance because you don't fear me. You don't, you don't love knowledge. You are not willing to learn. I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when you are, your terror comes. Rebecca, you are welcome. When your terror comes like a storm and your destruction comes like a, a whole wind, when distress and anguish come upon you, Agambi, I will just laugh. I will not help you. I will not fight for you. I will just laugh at you. Then they will call on me, but I will not answer. Because they don't want knowledge. They don't have the fear of me. I will not answer them. They will seek me diligently, but they will not find me. Mucho 
You can be there seeking God, praying and fasting, but you, you know, when they are teaching, you don't want to hear. When they teach, they, you will start getting offended. They will say, oh, that's, you know, she's talking about me. That woman hates me. That pastor doesn't like me. Ah, Gambia, because you hate knowledge. I will not answer you. I will not deliver you from the, the demonic world. I will laugh at you. I will mock you. So you better stay in church and be taught the word of God. Stop roaming around on Facebook on the, from different churches to other. Ngatonota tulakuli la chigambo. Agambie. Akuise a fool. Atuise basiru. People who don't want knowledge. Then they will call on me, but I will not answer. They will seek me diligently, but they will not find me. Because they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the Lord. Bwagamba mukama. They hate knowledge. We don't want to hear the word of God. We don't want to be taught. Because they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the Lord. They would have none of my counsel and despise my every rebuke. Therefore, they shall eat the fruit of their own way and be filled to the full with their own faces. Verses over. Verse 32. For the turning away of the simple will slay them, and the complacency of fools will destroy them. But whatever, what whoever listens to me will dwell safely and will be secure without fear or evil. You have to have the fear of God or, or in, in your life. You have to honor the word of God. Listen to the word of God. Study it. Love it. Love the word of God. He says, and fools hate knowledge. Nagamba, I will mock at you. When you are suffering, I will mock when there is terror in your life, I mean, when I, when they when they mock, when, yeah, that God says He will mock you when you are in terror, when you call upon Him, He will not listen. What does fearing God means? It means obeying Him. When they tell you give tithe, you do it. When they tell you come and uh, and we worship the Lord, you run, you bless the Lord, you worship, you serve God. That's what it means. Fearing God, honoring Him. Psalms 81 and verse 13 up to 14 says, All that my people would listen to me, that Israel would walk in my ways. You are Israel. I would soon subdue their enemies and turn my hand against their adversaries. Let me post these scriptures for you so that you can go back and read them yourselves. This is where your deliverance comes from. Some of you just go to churches and they, they anoint you just anointing. Go, receive the anointing. You are you it won't do anything because you don't have the knowledge. You cannot be delivered. You have to be taught the word. You have to sit under the teacher, the teaching ministry and be taught or together. You have to know the root cause of, of why you are being attacked. And after knowing, apply what you have learned so that the good Lord can bless you. Fear the Lord. There is no longer the fear of the Lord in the church. Fear the Lord. Psalms 34, 17 says, When the righteous cry for help, the Lord hears and delivers them out of their troubles. The Lord will deliver you out of your trouble if you fear him, if you honor him. Psalms 107 says, Then they cried to the Lord in their trouble, and he delivered them from their distress. God is in the business to restore. He's in the business to deliver. But we are not willing to be taught his word. We are not willing to repent. We are not willing to be transformed. I decree and declare from today, you are going to have the spirit of fear of the Lord upon you. Receive the spirit of the fear of the Lord upon you. Receive the spirit of the fear of God upon you right now in Jesus name so you will be delivered from the wicked world you'll be delivered from the demonic world Chris you are welcome Joslyn you are welcome everybody welcome God bless you share the video share the video if you have the fear of God upon your life you will fear the video so that other people can hear the word of the Lord Temutia God is going to deliver you just know from today that if you fear and fear the Lord and walk in his ways, he will deliver you. Gambia, if you hate knowledge, 
you are you are foolish and when you call upon him he will not answer you bwagambye mukama not me agambye you are foolish foolish people hate knowledge and when they call upon me i will not deliver them bwagambye proverbs you can read the scriptures there and i'm going to post more scriptures to show you that god commands you to fear him those are the scriptures you are supposed to fear the lord but what you will not talk about your pastors when you fear the lord you don't talk about the men and women of god you will be praying and interceding for them this, the book of uh, Psalms 34 verse 4 says, I sought the Lord and he answered me and answered me and delivered me from my fears. And so shall it be with you from today. God is going to deliver you from everything you have been fearing. God will give, give you deliverance from today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ for freedom. For freedom, Christ has set us free. Stand firm, therefore. Do not submit again to the yoke of slavery. No, 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 no. Stand still. For you will see the deliverance of the Lord. You will see the deliverance of the Lord. Agambia Mukama, all that my people would listen to me that israel would walk in my ways oh agamba mukama i would soon subdue their enemies and turn my hand against their adversaries he will set you free deliver you give you victory you will live long to see the goodness of the lord in the land of the living the favor of god will rest and abide with you if you walk in the fear of him you will not dream those weird dreams Let's see what Psalms 15 says. What does Psalm 6, 15 say? Lord, who may dwell in, the, in your tabernacle? Let me post it for you. I really always want to back up my messages with God's word. Kubanga, these days, um, we, the body of Christ is not teaching the word in our twin, as we are supposed to, to preach. The message is about prosperity. You will not die. It's about going to America, going to Spain, going where. They are not teaching us these things. What does Psalms 15 say? Let's read together. Lord, who may abide in your tabernacle? In other words, who can be in your presence? Who can you enjoy your, your joy? Who can enjoy your goodness? Nagamba, who may dwell in your holy hill? He who walks uprightly and walks, walks, walks righteousness and speaks the truth in his heart. Stop fighting each other. Stop be, uh, backstabbing people, tarnishing people's names. You will not prosper. Let's go there. Let me read the, that scripture for you. This is David who wrote this psalm. Lord, who may abide in your tabernacle? Who may dwell in your holy hill? He who walks uprightly he, 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 and works righteousness. And speaks the truth in his heart. He who does not backbite with his tongue. One who does not backbite. No does evil to his neighbor. No does he take up a reproach against his friend. In whose eyes a veiled person is despised. But he, he honors those who fear the Lord. He who swears to his own heart and does not charge. Watch it again and so on and so forth. Read that verse. Live a quiet and peaceable life. Stop fighting people. When you fight people, when you backbite, when you do all those things, you open yourself to the demonic world. And if you've been doing it today, there is hope for you. God is going to deliver you. Just stop it and repent. There is a new beginning. There is a new chapter. Don't fear. First Thessalonians 4 11 says that you also aspire to lead a quiet life, to mind your own business and to work with your own hands as we commanded you. Focus. Leave people alone. If you want to succeed in this world, some of you, you have backbite, backbiting, you have backbited people and they got so upset. Some of those people are witches and they are bewitching you. And guess what? No matter how you say no weapon form, the against me shall prosper. It won't work because you are walking in disobedience, cursing people. And thinking because, because there is the blood of Jesus, you go and just plead it. You think the blood of Jesus is like a pool. You sin and dive in. You pull. Hello? Stop it. Until you learn to mind your own business. 
But I thank God that he has sent me to teach this word so that you can be healed, be delivered. If you receive this word gracefully, my dear sister, brother, you will receive your deliverance like what God did to our brother Mugaga. Yesterday, I, I taught you how to anoint yourself. I, I prayed for you. I released the anointing. He went, when he slept, he had a, a dream. Look for the, for the testimony here. I'm going to post it. What does Hebrews 12, 14 says? Strive for peace with everyone and for, the ho and, and for the holiness without which no one will see the Lord. Yes, Joslyn. Katonda ya sumuru de brother wanu. Awado bujulizi. Nabagambie. If you haven't got your daily, I mean, any dream or anything, don't worry. God did it. Don't say Mukadenze. No, I didn't see any dream. I think God did not deliver me. No, no, no. God deli delivers us in different ways. He does his things in different ways. I will post the, uh, the, the testimony there. God visited him at night to prove what I was teaching. So let me post this scripture again for you because we are here to learn. I want you guys to be delivered completely. Refuse those demons to come back in your life. Don't allow them to come back in your life. Never go to bed b before you plead the blood of Jesus. Go in your children's rooms and release the blood of Jesus. Can you believe it that even now I still go in my son's bedroom, even in their rooms back and Adelirian left and David, David, I still go in their rooms and decree. I declare wherever they are, I release the blood of Jesus. My children shall be mighty. My children will make it. They will succeed. When I find their shoes of untamla, tamla, I speak to them when they are not going to gangs i am a crazy woman i'm telling you <laughs> i will i find this shirt there I, I lay my hands on it and i plead the blood of jesus May the fear of God be upon you, Derek, wherever you are right now the bible says job was always praying for his children pray for your children set an example but listen to me if you are gossiping and fighting people, even if you pray for your children, you, they won't get a blessing. And if you will pass those curses and oh, you open the demonic word to your entire house. Yesterday I told you that if you really, really say you love your children, Stop gossiping. Stop fighting people. Stop looking down on others. Because you you, ta, you pass those demons on your children. But think about your children. Okay, some of you don't say, well, I don't even see the God is talking about. Okay, start with the, the people around you. They need to help you to fear the Lord. It's only God. When I think about such things, they humble me. Yes, there is power in the name of Jesus. Yes, thank you, Chris. Preach it, brother. Preach it. The Bible says the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. Because you don't want knowledge. Ah, when you are in the time of trouble, I will mock you. I will mock at you. I will laugh at you. I will not answer your prayers because you hate knowledge. When you call upon me, when you are wake up scared of a dream, I will not answer. I, I, I don't want to know. I don't want to hear. Yes, Priska, woman of God, welcome. I don't want to know. God hates people who don't want knowledge. He despises them. He calls them fools. If you don't want to read the Bible, you don't want to hear Josephine preaching or anyone preaching to you. The Bible says you were fool because you hate knowledge. And God says, when you call me, I will laugh at you. Verse 26, verse, Proverbs 1, 26. I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock you when your, your terror comes. When your terror comes like a storm and your destruction comes like a whole wind. When distress and anguish come upon you, then they will call on me. But I will not answer. They will seek me diligently, but they will not find me. Because they hated knowledge. I did not choose the fear of the Lord. Temuagala kuli la chigambo, mukama agambi endewe muna ampita, nze sija kuba uli la sija basu mula mizimu jamwejo. So, 
Today, I'm saying if you want to receive your deliverance, keep yourself in the word. Fear the Lord. Fear the Lord. Chakatonda. Love his word. When you fear the Lord, it means you will love his word. You will obey his voice. When they tell you give, you do it. Number eight, always pray. Pray, pray, pray. The Bible says the effective fervent prayer of a righteous man avails much. What is an effective prayer? A prayer that is pure, that comes from a source that is pure. A heart filled with love, forgiveness. It will, out of it will flow prayers that are so powerful. Prayers that are effective. Fervent prayers of a righteous man will avail much. James chapter 5 verse 16. Some of you are praying, but because you are filled with bitterness, anger, God is not answering your prayers. But from today, I rebuke the spirit of unforgiveness, bitterness, envy, jealousy, competition, die at the root in Jesus name. May God set you free. May God deliver you. May God set you free from today. You will not, the enemy will not attack you in dreams. The enemy will not touch your children because you call upon the name of the Lord. You love his knowledge. The Lord will bless you. Oh yes, the book of Isaiah 62 verse 6 up to 7 says, you who make mention of the Lord, do not keep silent and give him no rest till he establishes until he makes Jerusalem my praise in the earth. I am a crazy woman. I pray. Some of you think, but we are so busy. Where are we going to get time? Don't worry. I told you, I and always tell you, whilst you are driving your car, you pray. You are cooking, pray. Then when you finally get home or what you've done, you finish your work, at least get 10 minutes and get in the presence of the Lord. And you never, before you know, you'll be building it to 20 to 15 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes. How are you going to overcome this demonic world? Get rid of the spirit of self-righteousness. Some of us are so holy. We are always, you know, uh, 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 judging people. Always judging people. You think you are the only holy person in this world. My dear sister, my brother, the spirit of self-righteousness is very, very bad. We are saved by the grace. Stop judging people. You put yourself into trouble. You open yourself to the demonic world. Because you deny the power of, of the cross. It's like you died for yourself. Self-righteousness is dangerous. It can take you to hell. Stop, stop, stop judging people. God says if you don't stop the pointing of finger, I will not answer you in the book of Isaiah. Is it 58 or something? I can't remember. Jesus rebuked the religious leaders of the first century and often because they had a too high view of themselves, he rebuked them. When he was... At the house of Simon, a Pharisee, a woman who was known to be a sinner came in and began to wash his feet with his with with her tears, wiping them dry, dry, dry with her hair and anointing them with a the fragrant oil. You can look for that in Luke chapter seven, Luke chapter seven, thirty eight and uh, verse thirty six and verse thirty eight. When the Pharisees saw this, he thought to himself, this man. If he were a prophet, would know who and what manner of woman this is who is touching him. For he, for she is a sinner. They started judging and condemning. Luke seven thirty nine. Jesus, knowing his thoughts, his thoughts, told the story of a creditor who had two debts, de 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 debts who were both unable to pay their debts, debtors who were unable to pay their de debts. In Luke chapter 7, 41 up to 42. Read it in your free time. Luke 7, 41, 42. The point of the story was to show the Pharisee that th though this woman was indeed a sinner, so was the Pharisee. Neither this woman nor the Pharisee had the ability to pay for their sins. And they were, they were essentially in the same boat. Luke 7, 44 and verse 48. Luke 7, 44 up to 48. The Pharisee's problem, however, was that he thought himself more righteous than the woman. He was so self-righteous, he could not see his own sin. But these things will hinder our blessings. 
if you see someone is in trouble, go on your knees. Instead of judging them, call them and say, I want to pray with you, even if you don't say anything. So instead of seeing their brethren as, you know, these righteous people, instead of seeing their brethren as all one in Christ Jesus, it is more like I am one in Christ. The rest of you have a lot of, a lot of room for improvement. He sits in, in Bible class and he has God's word spoken. But when it is time for application, all he thinks about is how those words apply to someone else. Or even how someone else misapplies it. They are too judgmental. It's only them. He sneers at the very idea that he should look in the mirror and see if he, it needs to apply to himself. Or if he has applied the scriptures properly. Which you will either... In his self-righteousness or in, or in her self-righteousness, she or he comes close to looking at himself only to see if scripture happens to agree with him. You are open to the demonic world because of self-righteousness. Judging others, never seeing any good in others. You open yourself to the demonic world. From today, I pray that the Holy Ghost will deliver you from that spirit of self-righteousness. We rebuke it. We destroy it. Repent from it. How are you going to be delivered from the demonic world? Delivered from getting those bad dreams? I said number seven, walk in the fear of God. Walk in the fear of God. Chakatonda. Love his word. God hates it. Fools, because he says, if you don't want my word, you are a fool. You hate knowledge, you are fool. When you call me in the time of trouble, I will not answer you. I will not listen to you because you don't want my word. I will leave you to be tormented by Satan. I will leave you to, I will mock at you. I will laugh at you. I've said number eight, pray, always pray. Call upon the Lord. Let God give you the spirit of prayer and intercession from today. Number 10, I've said spirit of self-righteousness. Self-righteousness is dangerous. Jesus taught about it. Jesus hates it. You make the cross of Christ to be weak. It's like you are the one who died for the world. Get rid of the spirit of self-righteousness. How do you get at why why do you get those bad dreams? I want to, I've taught I've taught you so many things. Just Find out where do you fall. Is it through disobedience? You are not tithing. Is it through uh, not fearing God? You 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 know you don't read His word. You laugh at the preachers. You when you see us preaching, you are mocking us. That will make you. That will make Satan to attack you. So number eleven, I've lost the count now. Whether you're my number ten or eleven, I can't remember. The next one is familiarity is a problem. Familiarizing men and women of God. That will make the enemy to come into your life. It opens up a door. Do not speak against God's servants. It is speaking against God and God's anger. It is speaking against God and God's anger will be kindled against you. I'm not talking about fake pastors. This one is just making, he called himself a pastor. He just is just making money out of people. You know, you, you can see them. The focus is about money. I'm not talking about those ones, but I mean men and men and men and women of God. Have you ever read the story of Moses and the children of Israel? Let's, when you go to Numbers, uh, Numbers 12 and verse 8 and 9, have you ever read it? Why then were you not, uh, the Bible says, when, why then were you not afraid to speak against my servant Moses? And the anger of the Lord was kindled against them. Did you know that before God called the men and women of God, he knew about them. He knew that they would fall from grace. What we have to do is to pray for them. And by the way, there are people that God has put there to speak into their lives. Those people, are, they are anointed. They are graced. Not you. 
do your own stuff. Stop gossiping. Stop putting them down and tearing them. You put curses on yourself. You open yourself to the demonic world. I know some people don't want to hear this message, but I don't care. I will preach. One day you, you will understand. And one day God will open your, under, your understanding, your spiritual understanding. A servant of God is a servant doing the will of his master. He is a vessel being used. Watch together. They are not perfect. Speaking against the servant of God is speaking directly against God. It is blaspheming. The same God you claim to praise and worship. If you know that you've been talking against men and women of God, repent. You open yourself to a demonic world. Believe me or not. God punishes people severely for speaking against him by speaking against his servants. In the Bible, we see so many examples with the lessons. No, so about Miriam. Miriam got a, a leprous on her. Watch out. Some people don't believe in these things, but it's the truth. Pray for them. It's not your business. Leave them. You open yourself to the demonic world. Thank you very much, Prisca, sweetheart. These are the things that are causing you to walk into trouble. You work hard. You never get any money. My sister Robina is watching. God bless you. Nemu struggle Nemu bona bona. Kubanga mogera kubasajia bakatonda. Always gossiping. Agambia, he has said in Proverbs 1, 22, and fools hate knowledge. They don't want to hear such messages. They will say, ah, who do they call themselves? Why do they... It's God who says, stop talking about them. Leave them alone. They are human beings. One time when I posted, there, were, there was war going on here. And I posted something saying, Banangi, we are also human beings, leaders. We also get upset. And then people are commenting, oh, look at a, a, a leader posting this. Hello, we are not perfect. And by the way, the Bible allows us also to get offended, as uh, angry, as long as we don't get anno annoyed until evening. That's what the Bible says. Stop it. You put curses on yourself. I can give you so many examples. I have had stories. There was this woman who was hating this pastor, talking about him all the time, talking about him. He has done this. And the pastor just kept quiet. He just kept quiet and listened to me. One day he was walking and the car knocked him down, knocked her down and died. Just like that. And some people will say, oh, the man of God cast her. No, no. It is the principle of God. It is the principle of God. I know some people were fighting me so much way back many, many, many years ago. They fought me. They fought me. My dear. If you see how God dealt with them. I'm not instilling fear in you, but it's the truth. We don't want the truth. We hate knowledge. And God says we are fools. And he will not answer us in the time of trouble. I have so many examples. Don't say pastors curse you. It is a principle. You fight them, God will fight for them. And then you say, oh, that man cast me, that woman cast me. Oh, no, touch not the anointed of God. And I don't mean pastors and leaders should just go do whatever they do. And we say, oh, we are not to be touched. That's not what I'm saying. We are also called to fear the, the, to fear the Lord, to honor you, God's people, to love you. If I start cursing you, God will deal with me. And I'm not supposed to curse you. I'm supposed to be blessing you. Do you understand? We have to fear the servants of God. No matter how I hear funny, funny things about some men and women of God, 
I, I, I just know, I just say, Lord, I, I don't know what is, whether it's true or not. I am praying for this woman of God, Lord. I am praying for this man of God. Reach out to him, Father. If he has failed you, Lord, forgive him. I will not be here celebrating and calling everybody. Have you had? Have you had? I won't be posting anything to put them down. No, stop it. Yes, vengeance belongs to God. My sister, uh, 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 Miriam. Another topic I want to talk about, it is so wide, the point is tithe. Tithe, tithe, tithe. What does the Bible say in the book of Malachi? Will man rob God? Yet you are robbing me. But you say, how have we robbed you? In your tithes and contributions, you, you are cast with a curse, for you are robbing me, the whole nation of you. Let me post the other point of the servants of God so that you know. Sagala Mbere Mugambe, Pastor Josephine, you know, just making up stories. I'll post the scripture for you. Get time to read it. It's there. I've, I've posted all the information. Take time to read. Tithe and tithe and stop saying, oh, the pastors are stealing our tithe. You, just you do your job and leave the rest to God. Get a church. If you don't have a church, it's okay. Maybe we're in Middle East. Let God guide you. Look for one if it's not there. Facebook is there. Look for where you, you can send your tithe. You can say, well, Balanced Life is my, my church. I will send my tithe to help the poor, the needy. You see what we are doing here. We are helping the needy, the, the underprivileged, the widows, the singles. The, you know, the children are now going back to school and you are working, working hard. You are not tithing. You are not seeing the blessing of God. You are just seeing demons attacking you in dreams. Why? Because you are not tithing. As simple as that. How? The Bible says you are robbing God in your tithes and contributions. You are cast with a curse. For you are robbing me, the whole nation. You are robbing God because... God is upset because your tithe is supposed to help pastors. Your pastor is supposed to reach out to the widows, to the needy, to the poor. If you don't have a church, at least give it to the poor, to the needy. That's what God says. If you don't, you are cast. As simple as that. But I pray that from today, the good Lord will open the eyes of your understanding. By the way, I'm soon going to pray for you. Don't go. Invite your friends. I know some people don't want the word, but I, it's up to you. Me, I'll continue teaching. Give your tithe. Give your tithe. Number 13, give to the poor. Poor. The reason why you are getting curses and all that stuff, you don't see any breakthrough in your life, you are not fulfilling all righteousness. There's so much that you are supposed to do. You are supposed to fear the Lord. You are, have to, you are supposed to pray. When you fear the Lord, you will give your tithe. When you fear the Lord, you will honor his servants. You will not curse them. And as you do that, the Lord will bless you. Give to the poor. I'm sowing this seed regarding this thing. It has to, I disconnect myself from this covenant. I am blessing these poor people. Bible says whoever gives to the poor will not want, but he who has his eyes will get many a, a curse. Didn't I share my, 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 the dream I had with you? I mean, the, 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 my testimony about my daughter, how the Lord showed me this snake. It came in the dream. I, I was sleeping and I saw it crawling and it went in my daughter's room and entered in her bed. And she was pregnant by then, almost getting ready to, uh, to go to labor. And the Lord revealed it to me. I started praying. I prayed for her. I told her to sow a seed. I didn't tell her the details. And I saw the seed in the life of uh, Subuga and uh, Robina, those poor people. I said, Lord, let me bless these people and see what the Lord did. The Lord delivered my, my daughter. Go and listen to part one. You'll be shocked. You'll be shocked. Bible says whoever gives to the poor will not want, but he who hides his eyes will get many a curse. Muta ambulirambi kolimo buta ulira. Muta ambulirambi kolimo. Because you hate knowledge. 
You are walking under curses. You are not enjoying your sleep. You Every time you wake up, someone is chasing you. A witch is holding a spear. They, are, they want to hey, give your tithe. Give to the poor. Whoever gives to the poor will not want, but he who hides his eyes will get many a curse. Uh, Psalms 28 uh, eight, two, verse 3 up to 4 says defend the poor and the fatherless. Do justice to the afflicted and needy. Deliver the poor and needy. Free them from the hand of the wicked so that God can bless you. Abakade, disabled people, reach out to them. It's a lifestyle to help the poor and the underprivileged. It's not a one-off. It is a lifestyle, my brothers and sisters. You've heard the message today. I have to stop there. I'm going to be praying for you. You've heard the message today. How are you going to be delivered from the demonic world? I've given you all the, the, the points that you have to do. I've shared the word with you. How to live a free life. How to walk in happiness, in joy. To enjoy the victory that Christ gave you at Calvary. I said give your life to Christ from today. Give your life to God. You're not jolly. Love the Lord your God. Maybe you are there and you are saying, ah, for me, I'm a Muslim. Okay, don't go to shrines. Don't go to shrines. Serve God and God alone. And the Lord will deliver you from the demonic world. Give your life to Christ. Number two, repent on behalf of your family. Disconnect yourself from covenants that were made many years ago. Disconnect yourself. Repent. Call upon up the blood of Jesus. Number three, call upon the blood of Jesus. It has power to deliver you. Or oh, share your testimony. When you share your testimony, you make the devil weak. You make those covenants weak. Talk about what God has done for you every day. Give him praise. Bless his holy name. And the Lord will deliver you in due season. Go for deliverance. Like right now, I'm going to be pray pray praying for you. Get your oil wherever you are. I'm going to pray for it. I'm going to release the anointing of the Holy Spirit. And then I'll give you instructions. The Lord is going to deliver you right now. If, I, if you were not here yesterday and you missed out, I'm going to pray for you. We've just had our brother testifying here. I mean, our brother has posted a, a message there how God delivered him. Yesterday, I prayed for you and he, I went to bed and the Lord showed him a vision. He was walk, walking through lions. They were just giving way, giving way. That is a confirmation. What else do you want, my brothers and sisters? Number six, I've said there is an open door. You have to close that door. If you have bitterness in you, unforgiveness, it's an open door. Close it from today. Forgive whoever offended you. Forgive them. Forgive your ex. I know it is so hard, but just surrender and say, Lord, I surrender to you. I release that person. Speak by faith. Believe it, and you shall be saved from that demon of unforgiveness. Number seven, walk in the fear of God. I said, what does it mean to fear the Lord? It is to obey him, to obey him, to honor him, to stop gossiping and fighting people. When you fear the Lord, you will honor him. When you fear the Lord, you will love his word. You will read the Bible. You will love the word of God because you, want, you don't want to be called a fool. God says, if you don't want my knowledge, you are a fool. You don't fear me. And when you are in a time of trouble, I will not answer you. I will not bless you because you don't fear me. You don't love my word. You don't read the Bible. You don't listen to my word. You don't want people preaching my word. You are a fool. I will not answer you. I will mock you. I will laugh at you. I will not deliver you. So you need to fear the Lord. You need to love the Lord. You need to read the word of God. Number 10. Get rid of the spirit of self-righteousness. It is dangerous. It is a killer. Get rid of it. Humble yourself. We are saved by the grace. Stop judging people. I've said another point. Get rid of the spirit of familiarity. It is killing us. We, are, we don't fear the men and women of God. We just, you know, talk, backbite, backstab them. It is dangerous. Get rid of it so that you can receive your healing. You can receive your deliverance. Number 12 
of tithe and tithe. Give your tithe through the Lord. If you don't give it, you are as a, 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 a thief. You are you are stealing from God, and the Lord will not deliver you. Number thirteen, I've said, or fourteen, give to the poor. Give to the poor, and the good Lord will deliver you in the time of trouble. So right now we are going to pray. First of all, you are. I want you to repent. Repeat with me. Repeat what I'm saying. Say, Father. I thank you for your word today. Please uh, repeat what I'm saying and get your, your oil wherever it is. Get it. Get ready. I am going to pray for you and I will tell you what to do. In the name of Jesus, say, Father, I thank you for your word. I have heard it. I am going to apply it in my, in my life from today. Let the blood of Jesus cleanse me. Let the blood of Jesus cleanse me, Lord. I come before you. Oh, the blood of Jesus, forgive me. I have failed you. I have failed you in different ways. Deliver me from sins I've committed, knowingly and unknowingly. Lord, the blood of Jesus has power to deliver me. Let your blood cleanse me, Father. Let your blood deliver me. Let the blood of Jesus deliver me. Forgive me. I have failed you. Forgive me for backstabbing others, from gossiping. Forgive me for not reading your word. Forgive me for fighting people. Forgive me, Father. I repent on behalf of my husband. I repent on behalf of my, on behalf of my children. I repent on behalf of my, fam my family members. Cleanse us with the blood of Jesus. Cleanse me, Father. Father, I thank you for your word. Lord, I receive your word. I hide it in my heart that I will not sin against you. Lord, have your way in my life. Lord, have your way in my life. Deliver me from today. Lord, the blood of Jesus has power to deliver me. Thank you, Lord, for the blood. Amen and amen. My sister Grace, you are welcome. Love you, sweet mommy. Sweet mommy, God bless you. Right now, we are go what we are going to do next, now that you have repented, God has forgiven you. Now, I'm going to ask you to repeat this prayer. Say with me, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you. I believe that your son died and rose again. Today, write my names in the book of life. I confess that Jesus Christ died and rose again. Lord, I commit my life into your hands. I commit my children into your hands. Lord, I am saved today. Come, Holy Spirit, and fill me. Lord, I denounce Satan. I denounce his covenants. I denounce all the covenants that were, that were made, you know, on my behalf. I denounce them in the name of Jesus today. I am free. I am free. The blood of Jesus speaks better things on my behalf. Today, I confess that I am delivered. I thank you, Father. Put my name in the book of life. Thank you, Lord. Fill me with your spirit now. Holy Spirit, fill me. Holy Spirit, fill me. Yes, somebody right now receive the spirit of the living God. The Holy Spirit is filling you right now. Receive the Holy Spirit by faith wherever you are. Just say, Lord, I receive your Holy Spirit. Spirit. Let your spirit guide me from today. Holy Spirit, fill my house. Holy Spirit, fill me. Yes, receive the Holy Spirit. Receive the Holy Spirit. And I rebuke every demon that has been hindering you to come to the Lord. I rebuke them. I rebuke them. I rebuke them in the name of Jesus. I rebuke them. I rebuke them in the name of Jesus Christ. We have prayed. Amen and amen. Right now, the third thing that I want you to do, that was my alarm warning me that it's time to stop. What you are going to do is get that oil. I told you to bring your oil. Bring that oil. We are, I'm now going to pray a deliverance prayer for you. According to the book of uh, uh, Isaiah 10, 27, the anointing destroys the yoke. I want you to believe. You have seen our brother. I wish I can read his comment. This is what I told people that were here yesterday. I told them to get that anointing. And I prayed for them. And the Lord has started delivering people. The brother is here. Mukisa watching. He has commented it was powerful. Mami Jo. I dreamt when I was walking in a den of lions. But they were not hurting me. They were instead giving, giving me way. He already received his healing. So don't joke with what we are going to do right now. Rush quickly. If you've got your own oil, just uh, type there and say, 
Yes, I have it. Get the oil right now. I'm going to pray for it. I'm going to release the anointing of the Holy Spirit in that anointing wherever you are. And then you are going to put it in your hands and you are going to put it on your forehead. Or put it in a plate and I'm going to pray. There is power when you pray. The Bible says when two or three people agree on a matter, it shall be established on earth and in heaven. I don't have to lay my hands on you. Watch together. But as long as we pray, you are now free. God has set you free. God has delivered you. Trust him. Believe him. If you have your anointing, confirmed, yes, I have it. Thank you. I mean your oil. If you have it there, confirm. Because I'm going to start praying for you right now. If you are believing God for a, a fruit of the womb, I want you to get that anointing and put it on your womb, on your stomach. If you have a sickness, is it a headache? Put it there. Is it your eyes? Put that anointing on your eyes. Is it the arm? Put it on the arm. Wherever you have that problem, put that anointing there. Not the flower. Leave the flower alone. If it's the flower or whatever, I don't want you to put it there. Just put your anointing here. Because you know why? I am telling you this because you must go to a wicked pastor and be, if you are a woman and it is a, this is a, a male pastor, he will tell you put the anointing, let me open yourself, let, let's put the anointing there. No, 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 no. I won't say that to you. <laughs> so are you ready? I am going to pray for that uh, uh, oil in the name of Jesus. Okay, you are ready. Let's pray. Put your hand on that anointing. I am releasing the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Father, in the name of Jesus, you said when two or three people agree on a matter, it shall be established on earth and in heaven. Right now, I am agreeing with my brother and sister watching me or who we watch after that will be holding the anointing Lord. I agree, we stand in agreement that the, the oil they are holding is being anointed right now by the Holy Ghost power. According to Isaiah 10, 27, I release the presence of the Lord. I release the Holy Ghost power on that anointing right now. Sanctify it with the blood of Jesus. It is holy right now. It is sanctified by the blood of Jesus. I release the anointing of the Holy Ghost power to enter that anointing wherever you are. Receive the anointing. Receive the anointing. Receive the anointing. Receive the anointing in the name of Jesus. Father, sanctify it. Sanctify it with the blood of Jesus. With the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Father, because the anointing right now is in that oil. <coughs> Excuse me. Let me drink some water. Thank you. Right now, we thank you, Father, for the anointing that destroys your Father, right now, as your children are going to anoint your, themselves, Lord, let your Holy Ghost power rest upon them right now in the name of Jesus. The next step now, I want you to touch into that anointing oil. It's already anointed. Put it on your forehead. Or put it where you are hurting. Is it your hand? your legs, you are believing God for the fruit of the womb, you are believing God for finances, you can move and your hands. Smear it on your hands. You are believing God for a breakthrough in your finances. You know, so I'm going to pray right now. Without faith, it is impossible to please the Father. He who comes to the Father must believe that he is and is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. If you are not believing, if this does not work for you, it's your fault. So you have to have faith. Don't say that woman lied to us. She told us to bring oil. We did it. Nothing happened. It goes back to you. There is a, you are supposed to play your part. You have to have faith. Hebrews 11, 1. Hebrews 11, 6. You have to have faith. So now I'm going to decree and declare. I'm going to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for everybody watching me here, my God. I stand under your grace. I stand under the blood of Jesus. I am covered under the blood of Jesus. You anointed me to pray for your people. Right now, I pray for them. I break. 
I destroy demonic powers that have been holding them. Let the anointing destroy those yokes. Destroy them from covenants that were made on their behalf. In the name of Jesus, you are free today. I set you all free. I deliver you from curses. I deliver you from spells. I deliver you from witchcraft. I deliver you from curses. I deliver you from juju. I deliver you from enchantments. I deliver you from negative words. You are free. You are free. You are free. In the name of Jesus, I release the anointing of God to deliver you, to set you free. I destroy that spirit of barrenness. I destroy every curse. I destroy AIDS. I destroy cancer. I destroy migraines. I destroy every witchcraft. I destroy spells and curses. I destroy every Every curse or oh, every sickness, every disease, I destroy it by the blood of Jesus. Wherever you are, I destroy those powers. I make them powerless. I resist your resistance, Satan. Lose God's people. Be free from curses. Be free from spells. Be free from witchcraft. Be free from demonic powers. In the name of Jesus, wherever they planted your name, in the shrines, I call it out. Let the anointing break that curse. Let the anointing break that curse. Some of you don't get don't get married in your in your family because they made covenants. I break them. I destroy them from your life from today you are free the blood of jesus sets you 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 free you are free you are free you are free the anointing is setting you free from today you are going to conceive the anointing is setting you free you are going to walk down the aisle oh but sumula kebi goligo demonic powers premature death die at the root die at the root that curse some of you mavu maban to. You abuse the people and they cast you. I disconnect you from that cast from today in Jesus mighty name. You, you offended your pastors. You backstabbed from today. You have repented. May God set you free from that cast. I set you free from that cast. From that spell. I destroy demonic powers from today. I destroy them from your life from today. I set your children free. I set your businesses free. I set your, gen your generation free. I set you free. I set you your children free. They will pass with the flying colors. The anointing destroys the yoke. The anointing destroys the yoke. Say that again and over again. The anointing destroys the, the yoke. As I anoint myself, say these words, the anointing is, destroy, is destroying yokes from my life. Yes, I destroy the spiritual husbands. Spiritual husbands live my life from today. Say those words, live my life today. You spiritual husbands, live my life today. Spiritual wickedness, live my life today. Curses, live my life today spells live my life today leave my children if it's your children anoint them jaja baby is ready for her program mom and son so cool about god bless you my mom my mom is next her program is next so get ready i am soon finishing be free say with me the anointing is destroys yolk is destroying yokes from my life the anointing is setting me free i am conceiving twins the anointing is setting me free i am free i am free i am I'm free or oh, robo shika tara bayanda the fire of god is setting you free fire 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 musumurwa musumurwa yonaje muli fire 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 the anointing is destroying those yokes those yokes you keep dreaming snakes i call fire Fire, fire, fire in Jesus' name. No more snakes, no more witches, no more no wickedness from today. As you hear the voice of God, he will subdue your enemies. He will subdue your enemies and turn his hand against your adversaries from today. He will forever silence them from today. God is silencing your enemies according to Psalms 81, 14. 81, 14. He's silencing your enemies. He's silencing your enemies from today. Be free, be free, be free be free Okay, ma'am, be free, be free, be free from today. In the name of Jesus Christ, I release the snow of God to destroy those witches and wizards fighting you from today. I release snow to freeze their witches, to freeze their juju, to freeze their juju. Be free. The anointing is destroying those yokes from today. I release angels to destroy your enemies, to destroy your enemies from today. Yeah, Ramashika Tarabayende. 
Ikarama Mayanda, Ikarama Yeketerebe, Ikarama Mayanda, Muiteba Namwe, Muiteba Namwe, call them, be free, be free, be free. You are free from today, you are free from today, you are free from today, you are free. The anointing, Mwete Kekama Futa Kat Katinabala Giri de Chokola, Teka Teka Kama Futa, O Rama Shika Tara Bayende, I anoint you today, I anoint you today, you are free from migraines, you are free from cancer, you are free from curses, you are free today, from today, whom the Son of God says free is free indeed, you are free today, Sarah, you are free today, in Jesus' name, immaculate, you are free, Katrina Williams, you are free today, you are free today, you are free today, Yikarama Sheke Terebe Yanda, Mbasumurula, Mbasumura Bakatuka, Mukwata anointing, Amafuta Yonaje Muli, get that anointing and put it on your forehead, I have already prayed for you. And as you put that anointing on your forehead, God is setting you free. Whatever has been containing your destiny, they are subdued in Jesus' name. 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 Musumurwa, Musumurwa Maria, Musumurwa Hadian, Musumurwa Jocelyn. Whatever has been containing your destiny, they are subdued in Jesus' name. They are subdued in Jesus' name. Curses of marital, marital and business spell is broken. A curse of marital and business spell is broken. Is broken as you anoint yourself. It is broken. It is broken, Angela. That those dreams, we destroy them. Whatever you ate in the dream, my sister, I sanctify you with the blood of Jesus. When you wake up, Ngolose, when you dream eating some weird things, stand up and uh, get, uh, uh, get out of bed and they start praying and say, the blood of Jesus is cleansing me. The blood of Jesus cleanses my sister. The blood of Jesus cleanses my system. I set you free, Bena. I set you free, Hadi Ann. I set you free, Angela. Don't fear. You are delivered today. Put you the anointing oil on your stomach and say whatever I ate in the dream, I sanctify myself with anointing oil, with the blood of Jesus. I am free. I am free. I am free. Jesus said that you are uh, he has given us authority. When we eat poison, we shall be delivered. Oh, from today you are delivered in Jesus' mighty name. Grace, you are free in Jesus' name, my sister. I cover you with the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. Whatever you might have lost, be it in your health, your marriage, your business, career, is declared recovered, 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 recovered. You are recovering. You are recovering. All of you, bet say you are recovering. Now go, you are, you, you are recovering from today in jesus mighty name in jesus mighty name whatever has been containing with your destiny they are subdued they are subdued they are subdued curse of marital marital and business spell is broken they are broken from you today in jesus mighty name they are broken every yoke of wicked tormenting you every yoke of the wicked tormenting you is destroyed today as I know into you as I know into you those yokes are destroyed they are destroyed fire fire fire. Be free, Janklin. Be free, Narugo. Be free, Betse. Be free today. No more bad dreams. No more eating uh, 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 juju in dreams. No, 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 Sandra. Be free, be free. Every yoke of wicked uh, tormenting you is destroyed totally by the blood of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus. As you put anointing oil today, I set you free. The anointing is destroying every spell and enchantment, causing the stagnation and frustration in your life you are delivered in the name of jesus you are delivered completely delivered from spells enchantment causing stagnation frustration in your life is god is delivering you from them today in jesus name as i know into you today you will not lose your crown you will not lose your crown another man will not take it in jesus name they will not take it they will not take it immaculate receive favor receive the blood of jesus the blood of jesus the blood of jesus Call your people, call your friends to receive the anointing of the Holy Ghost to be delivered from curses, from dreams. Whatever the devil has damaged in your life, I decree them replaced in Jesus' name. Did the devil destroy your ovaries? Did the devil destroy your health? Did the devil destroy your finances, your business? Whatever has, the devil has damaged in your life, I decree them repressed, repressed, repressed. If they removed your womb, it is repressed. 
No, oh, release I release the anointing. I release the anointing. I release the anointing of the Holy Ghost power as you anoint yourself. As you anoint yourself, God is delivering you. God is delivering you. Whatever the devil has damaged in your life, I decree them replaced. In Jesus' name, your eyesight is replaced, your ovaries are replaced, your joy is replaced, your peace is replaced, your money is restored, years of, of slavery and servitude are over. In Jesus' mighty name, every every of your mockers are beginning to envy you from today. From today, your, fi your financial stress leaves your life from today. No more poverty, no more lack. You are delivered, you are healed. In Jesus' name, as I anoint you today, you will dream good dreams. As I anoint you today, you are delivered. You are delivered. You are delivered from snakes, from the Leviathan spirit. You are delivered. Whatever has made you to be a victim of lack and one by the power of God, they are destroyed by the anointing. They are destroyed. No more lack, no more insufficiency, no more lack, no more fear, no more sickness, no more barrenness. Whatever has made you to be a victim of barrenness by the power of God, they are destroyed by the power of God. They are destroyed by the anointing. They are destroyed. You are delivered. 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 And an and end has come to every Every form of harassment of the devil upon your life. The devil will not harass you again. No, 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 no. I seal you under the blood of Jesus. You are going to sleep like a baby. You are going to get heavenly dreams like Mugaga did. You are going to get them. A brother has just testified yesterday when I prayed, when I anointed, anointed the group that was here. He received his healing. He received his deliverance. He saw a vision. He was walking in many lions and were just giving way. And so shall it be with you from today. You are delivered. Good dreams alone. Good dreams alone. Even when you try, you, the snakes tries to attack you. The fire of God will consume it from today. In Jesus' mighty name. From today you shall find all kindness of precious possessions. Precious possessions are yours. You shall fill your houses with the spoil. According to Proverbs one thirteen. According to Proverbs one thirteen, You shall fill your house. Houses with the spoil in Jesus' name from today. God is exposing your enemy. There is no darkness, no shadow of, nest, of death where the workers of iniquity may hide themselves. God is exposing them. They will not fight you again from today. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, I release fire, fire, fire in the enemy's camp. Fire, 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 fire. We throw you in confusion, Satan. We throw you in confusion. You will not rise up against God's people. You are defeated. You are defeated in Jesus' name. You are defeated. You are defeated. Receive God's grace. Receive God's power. You are delivered. You are delivered from witchcraft, from spiritual husband, from spiritual wives. You are delivered. Be free today. Be free today. Be free today. Be free in the name of Jesus. You know those demons, they come and sleep with you. They don't want you to get married. From today, they are defeated. They are defeated. They are defeated. In Jesus' mighty name, your enemies are crushed from today. May God keep you back, back your soul from the pit and from perishing by the sword, according to Job 33, verse 18. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, it is done. If it is done, it is done. Yikarama shoko toro boyeke terebe. You are free. Fire, 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 fire. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare. God will make your enemies that they will dust like the chaff before the wind. As the fire burns the wounds and as the flame sets the a mountain on fire. Also shall the Lord burn witches and demons that have been rising up against you. They are being burnt by Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. Burn, 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 burn. Ban. Disaster, disaster in your cup, Satan. Disaster in your cup. As they plan to gather uh, 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 against you, may God release fire in their camp from today. In Jesus' mighty name, I release the healing power. I release prosperity. I release long life. You will live long to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. May the Lord bless your going and coming. May God fight those who fight at you at your workplace. May God promote you. Whoever has been standing in your promotion, we will we, we 
uproot them in the name of Jesus Christ. May the thunder of the Lord scatter them in seven ways. May the lightning of God scatter them in seven ways from today. You are free. You are free. Whom the Son of God says free is free indeed. My friends watching me, you are going to sleep like babies. No more spiritual husbands. No more spiritual hus wives. Apply what I have told you. God's word, God's promises have, have conditions. Apply what I have told you. And from today, because I have anointed you, because the anointing of the Holy Ghost has rested upon you, you are free. You shall be free permanently. Your testimony shall be permanent. You will come here and testify like Mungaga has, has, has testified. You will sleep like a baby from today. Your finances are restored. Your marriage, your health, your peace has been restored by the Holy Ghost fire have to stop here my friends i love you dearly thank you very much hopefully i'll be back later on you are free mugenda kuobu julizi be strengthened remember to apply what i have taught if you haven't listened to the message, you came in late, please take out time to discover how you can be delivered from the demonic world. How can you be delivered from those snakes you are always dreaming? Spiritual husbands, spiritual husband, wives, you will find out. You have come late. I'm finishing now. May God bless you so much. I have to leave you guys. I love you. Let me love and leave you. Have a blessed day. Stay strong in the Lord. Know that God has delivered you. God has anointed you today. He has given you a breakthrough. Walk in it. Learn to live a quiet and peaceable life. Don't fight people. You open yourself to the demonic world. Give your tithes faithfully. And when you give it, don't complain. Leave it. Don't in look into what is happening with it. God will deal with whoever is eating the tithe. Make sure you give to the poor. Reach out to them. Bless them. And the good Lord will bless you. Fear the Lord. I said, how do you fear the Lord? By obeying him and reading his word. He has said in Proverbs chapter verse 122, if you don't read his word, you look a fool. And when you call upon him, he will not answer you. He says, I will curse you. I will mock you. But I thank God today that you have heard your word. You've heard the word of the Lord. You have decided you are going to read it. You are going to walk holy before him. And therefore, no more tears. No more worry. No, the devil will not attack you again. When he rises up against you, the spirit of God will scatter him in seven ways. You are a winner. You are a champion. It is well with your soul. May God bless you. Favor is on your side. If God be on your side, who can be against you? You are a winner. You are a champion. You are a victor. With you, God is going to shake nations. You and your family will always be blessed. Your testimony shall be permanent. You will invite me to your party. You will invite me to your wedding. You will invite me to your, your child's name, name uh, and what uh, name ceremony. You will invite me. You will invite me to your celebration, to your victories in Jesus' name. We shall celebrate with you. I love you guys. God bless you. This message is going to be posted on YouTube. You can forward it to friends. Please remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Um, it's called the Balanced Life Family K. The Balanced Life Family K. But when you type, when by the time you get to the family, it will be already there. Click on it and you see all the messages there. We just opened it recently. Please forgive us if some videos are not. We, are, we, we don't edit them because we do live programs. So just forgive us and try to forward and make sure you start from, you know, from the message. Okay, love you. Bye-bye, guys. Bye, sweet mommy. Love you, my baby sister. Have a blessed day. Mommy is coming on next. Guys, don't miss Jaja, baby. Bye, everyone.